Hello, space explorers! Welcome to Orbital Observations. We're going to do a really cool experiment today that will help teach us more about spending time with God. Do you guys remember what we've already learned about this week? On Sunday, we heard a true story from the Bible about two sisters that were friends with Jesus. Do you remember how Mary sat and listened to Jesus, but her sister Martha was too busy worrying about cooking and cleaning? Jesus called Martha over to spend time with him. She needed a reminder that spending time with God is more important than anything else. Sometimes it's hard for us to spend time with God because we spend all our time doing lots of other things, even good things that we love to do. Do you ever go to sleep at night and think, oh no, I forgot to spend time with God again today, but when would I have had the time? I know we're all in quarantine right now, but it's easy even though we're staying at home to be just as busy as normal or get distracted by other stuff like screen time or playing outside. Let's do an experiment to see if it's possible to spend time with God even when we're already so busy doing other things. All right guys, I'm gonna show you what our supplies are for this experiment. Our first item is a jar. This represents all of our time. Our second item is a jar of big rocks. See? These represent spending time with God. Remember, you can spend time with God through praying, reading your Bible, singing a worship song. Our third item is a jar of smaller rocks. These represent things that we like to do. The fourth item is a jar of sand. The sand represents everything else that we have to do, like sleeping, eating, doing chores, or even schoolwork. Let's try putting the sand in first. These are things that we have to do to survive, right? It makes sense that they'd go in first. All right, that was easy. Let's see, I really like doing fun things like spending time outside, watching Netflix, and playing with my puppy. Let's put these smaller rocks in. Wow, you guys, it's already getting really full. I hope I have enough time to spend time with God. Let's see how many of the big rocks we can fit in. I didn't even get half the big rocks in there and I'm already overflowing. Maybe I've got this all backwards. Let's try again the other way. All right, now we're back to where we started. Let's start this again first by putting in the big rocks, which represent our time with God. All right, we've got, all right, we put in the big rocks, which represent spending time with God. They fill up a little over halfway of the jar. Let's try adding the smaller rocks, which represent things that we like to do. Whoa, this is heavy. Do you guys see this? It's pretty much filled all the way to the top with spending time with God, the bigger rocks, and the smaller rocks, which represent things that we like to do. I hope I can fit the sand in there. All right, you guys, watch really closely. I'm gonna put in the sand, which represents the things that we need to do. I want you guys to watch closely on how it fits in all the cracks of the other rocks. Guys, when I added the sand, it filled in all the cracks that the other rocks left. Isn't that awesome? Hey, everything fits perfectly. Isn't that amazing? It didn't seem like all these things would fit into the jar, but when we added the big things first, everything somehow fit. It's the same way when it comes to spending time with God. When we make spending time with God a priority, we still have plenty of time to do all the other fun things we love to do. But when we don't make spending time with God a priority, we get to the end of the day and realize there is no time left for God. Does your family have a quarantine schedule? Maybe you have a schedule for schoolwork, chores, and screen time. I'm gonna challenge you to make a new schedule the way that we filled the jar in our experiment. Start with chunks of time to spend with God. Maybe you can start with 30 minutes of downtime and prayer and reading the Bible in the morning. You can do that again at night before you go to bed. Maybe your family does a devotional or likes to sing worship songs together. Put those pieces into place first. Next, what are things that your family really enjoys doing together? Maybe you like to take walks, play board games, watch a funny movie. Find time for those things too. Last, what are things that you really need to do? Well, for another month or so, you need to do schoolwork, so make sure you make time for that. You need time for three meals every day, 
you need to get chores done and keep the house clean. Have you filled up your schedule yet? Now this isn't to say that every minute or even every hour of your day needs to be planned, but it's helpful to prioritize spending time with God by making it a part of your daily routine. Remember, the more we practice spending time with God, the easier it gets and it becomes a habit. If your family makes a schedule that includes spending time with God, send it to me for two entries per person into this week's prize drawing. Thanks again for joining me for Orbital Observations. That was such a cool experiment. I hope you'll join me tomorrow for Cosmic Creations. We'll be creating some really cool stuff. I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. One of those creations is a super cool galaxy slime. Shh, don't tell anybody. See you later, space explorers. Bye.